back like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you're new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you through three crucial facets of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we continuously push you towards professional greatness as you move forward in your careers in both business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today, we talk about a common thing we each do from time to time, worrying about the worst that could happen in a situation? Now you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. If you second guess things, analyze everything to death, catastrophize or expect the worst in everything, or you just can't let go of things, let's talk. There are always things in our everyday lives that create a bit of stress and anxiety for each of us. And it's normal to be nervous about things, outcomes of big decisions you need to make, having a big test you have to take, an incredibly important project at work. These are all things that can cause a bit of angst in us. And those things lead us to do something that never truly changes the outcome, right? Worry? Worry. Worry worry and then worry some more because why would everything go right for you when your life is already stressful? And don't be mistaken, it's not just this one situation that's keeping you from giving a positive outlook on things. It's a combination of your personal life, your love life, your family life, your work life. It's all of them rolled up into one. And even though one or multiple things in your life seems to be going well, there still may be some carryover, right? And you know exactly what I mean by carryover. Like you're a little bit more irritable towards some of the people in your life who don't deserve that type of energy from you. And nah, you're not doing it on purpose. In fact, you may not even realize you're doing it until later, days, weeks, or even months later, because your intentions are for the best. But that stress, that load you're carrying, worrying about things and if they're going to work out or not, it's heavy and it's weighing you down. And I mean that literally. It's the reason why people gain weight. It's the reason why you want that extra hour of sleep when you know you need to get up and get ready. It's the reason you're unable or unwilling to tell your partner that you're bothered by something. It's the reason your coworkers get on your damn nerves so much. It's the reason you're so short with your kids. So instead of you opening up, you know what you do? Just live with it, internalize it, and just deal with it. Cause it'll get better, right? Like in due time, you'll be fine, no worries. Wrong. While you may think you're doing great at hiding your emotions, dealing with the negative feeling, and putting on a face in front of those who love you most, they know something is off. They can feel that energy vibrating off of you. They know that you're holding on to something. And it's not only hurting you, it's hurting them as well. It's holding back the type of transparency and effective communication necessary to have meaningful conversations. And even if they don't notice or don't mention it to you, does that really matter? Nah, because you're still doing damage to yourself personally. So why worry? Because it's human nature. Because you've been let down in your past. Because nobody ever instilled in you the confidence necessary to have the courage of your conviction. But where you are right now, in this very moment isn't who you are. You have so much more to give, so many more decisions to make, so many more relationships to build, so many more adversities you have to face. So why should this one adversity define you? Why should you be so emotionally tied to this outcome? Your belief system, your core principles, your understanding of effective and healthy releases are important. Holding on to your worry, your anxiety, your problems, your hurt, your fear of the outcome does nothing to change the outcome, right? So learn Learn how to let go and allow life to happen. Allow the mistakes to happen. Allow yourself to be human. Stop being so goddamn hard on yourself. Know why? Because you don't deserve to do that. Your book isn't finished. Your race has not been ran yet. Your greatest achievements in life have not yet been fully realized. So give yourself and forgive yourself. Encourage yourself. And more importantly, believe in yourself. As the old popular quote states, you were given this life because you're strong enough to live it. So start living it, start loving it, and start experiencing it without the worry of what could go wrong. Start expecting the best out of your life and your circumstances. You got this. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If no one has told you this already today, come on now, I appreciate you. If you found some value in the video today, make sure that you like, comment, share, the video as well. And of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and become an official part of a team that's always going to push you to personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.